Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. Midnight Woods is my name, and this morning, Midnight Woods will be playing the weekly challenges in Rayman Legends. And if we get time, we might have a go at the Daily Extreme as well. I'm not going to do the Daily because it's a pit distance, and we've had two of them in a row. So, alright, first up for this morning, it's the weekly challenge, and it's a never-ending pit. Straight speed run to the bottom, 21-21 for the gold, or 15-14 for the diamond. So, I need to come 11th or better to get the diamond but I'm usually pretty terrible at pit speed challenges so I don't think it's going to happen so as we've got three challenges to do this morning we might try and get through them a little bit quicker than usual especially this one because I'm pretty terrible at it and as it's a weekly we have to go 50 meters further than we usually do in a regular pit speed Normally in the daily challenge it's 250 meters, but as it's a weekly challenge, it's extended by 50 meters. Alright, 28.49, that was just an exploratory run. It's a silver cup, so obviously we can do better than that. I just need to figure out where we need to go. Let's just get one more exploratory run in here, actually. Alright, just to figure out where we need to go. Twenty-three, twenty-nine. Okay, so that was a, about a five-second improvement there. All right, let's go for a sensible run now. I think. Yeah. So that part we could probably just ground pound actually. Ah, wrong way. Yeah, that seems fastest. Okay, there. I think we probably. Okay, there we should probably ground pound as well. Bah! Okay, needed to slow down just a little bit. Well, come on! How could I not reach that blue hand? Ah. Oh dear. Okay, I'd already wasted quite a lot of time in that run anyway. <sighs> oh dear. That's not good. Okay, 18.51. That is a gold cup. I do think I can improve that to about 17 seconds or so. No, 59th. Okay, we can do better than that. Okay, that bit was better, but I don't know why I did it. Uh, uh, I don't know why I killed myself there like that. Still, that was a better run. Seventeen seventy-five. Yeah, I still feel like I could push it to a low seventeen or something. So let's just play that a little bit more. Yeah, it's that bit. Yeah, that was terrible. That's the part where I keep messing up at one hundred and seventy meters. Oops, it's terrible. That's more like it. Okay, that was better. 
I don't think it was perfect, but it was better. 17.30. Right, okay, so it puts me 28. All right, we'll give that one more sensible run. We'll get one more sensible run on that. Try and get another run somewhat like that. And if my score improves, we'll move on. And if it doesn't, we'll move on anyway. About 17.31. Uh, I wasted a little bit of time on the chain there. I think I probably could get it most about... Well, the best I could get is probably 17.1, maybe 17.0. So we're pretty close to my best score there. Just a, a little bit off. So I think 17.30, that's probably good enough. I was never going to get the diamond anyway, so... Any improvement on that would have been really minimal. Alright, so moving on to the weekly extreme challenge. It's an infinite tower and it's a distance challenge. 1,151 for the gold or 2,105 for the diamond. Uh, well, Mef and Yasvith are really going for it this week. Alright, let's see what we can do. We haven't got too much time, so I don't think we can go too far on this. And also, if I mess up for some reason at 1500 meters uh, we'll probably have to just accept it because we've got to play the daily extreme as well so I'm playing pretty much playing all three challenges right before they expire so we're under a bit of time pressure here although actually no we're not under much time pressure because in, in general it, it doesn't usually take me 40 minutes to get through three challenges So we should be fine for time. It, it just means that, let's say that I get scores that I'm not satisfied with in the weekly challenges. It, it just means that I don't have the whole week to go back and work on it if I want to because I'm playing them right before they expire. It's not what I intended to do, it's just what happened. So right there was the gold cup. And right there is where I very nearly messed up as well. Just about managed to survive that one. So the vines are getting tighter and tighter and timing has to be more and more precise.
Ah, you muppet. Missed time that jump completely, but looks like I just about managed to get in there with a diamond. Oh, there we go. 10th out of 13th. Yeah, that should be a fairly safe diamond, given there's not much time before the challenge expires. Oh, that was a silly mistake at the end. I just didn't... I just didn't jump in time. Just jumped way too late. All right, so there we go. We've got a diamond cup in the weekly extreme. Very nice. So how many minutes before the daily... 28 minutes left. Oh, wait, yeah. 28 minutes. That'll be more than enough time. All right, so we're going to change to glow box. We're not going to bother with the daily challenge. I, I don't do pit distance. Well, not three times in a row, at least. All right, so daily extreme. It's a dojo, and we're looking to collect 250 lums as fast as we can. 47.12 for the gold, or 28.45 for the diamond. Ah, we need to beat Meth to get the diamond. So maybe if we can beat Yazveth and enough people play um, in between now and the time that the challenge expires, maybe we might get the diamond. But I don't think it's likely. Alright, so let's just see what screens we've got. Okay, we've got one that I'm really bad at in here. Oh, you muppet. Thirty-four sixty-one. Does that put me on the leaderboard? Not quite. Uh, Thirty-two forty-eight is what I need to get on the leaderboard. All right. Well, we can improve that. So let's just see what we can do. I wouldn't say it's an easy dojo, but it's not a difficult one either. I'd say this is very much a medium difficulty challenge. That screen could have been better. Oh, 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 that's just terrible. That screen, that's the one that I think I'm going to have the most problems with. That's usually the way it is. Uh, I'm pretty bad at screen four. Oh dear. Thirty fifty six. Does that beat Yesveth? I'm not sure if it does or not. Oh, so close to Yesveth. All right, let's go for that. Let's try and beat Yesveth. Well, that was a pretty sensible run. So I'm not too sure how I'm going to shave off that extra, um, well, fifth of a second. I suppose we can just keep playing till the time runs out. I thought that was a pretty sensible run. I don't really know how I'm going to improve it. Oh, I certainly won't playing like that. I think it will depend on screen four. That's the screen which I think is either going to go well or horribly wrong.
Oh, nice. Oh, that was good. That's bad. That was a bad start to screen five. Oh no, I didn't ground pound. Well, let's just see what I get anyway. Ah, oh, right. That uh, that was a failed run. Oh no! Okay, it seems to be a little bit easier if I kick actually in midair on that screen, so I might start using that strategy from now on. Well, we'll try it in here, and if it works, we'll continue using it, and if it doesn't, then we won't. Right, so the goal is to beat Yazvis. That was a little bit sloppy. Twenty nine ninety nine. There we go. Ha! <laughs> Very nice sub thirty there, and it beats Yazveth. So it turns out I don't actually need those two last lanterns. I thought I did, but apparently I don't. So is this going to be another challenge where I'm one rank off the diamond? I think it will be. I don't think I'm going to... I'm not getting 2844, but that is a very nice number. It would be a shame to spoil a sub-30 like that. So there we go. 2999. That's going to be my score in the Daily Extreme Challenge. And so that is all three challenges done. Thank you for watching and I'll see you again shortly.